So you take that out and you create a little wheelie popping monster. This motor is a Hyper 9 made by NetGain. It um, has 175 foot pounds of torque, 125 horse, and it runs on a, it's a 144 volt nominal motor. Okay. We have six Tesla Model S modules. Oh, or the fuel, perfect. Yeah, right where you would look for it. <laughs> plug it in, charge it up. Yep. All right, James, All right. thank you. So what do we have here? So this is a 1971 Volkswagen short bus. Short bus. Short bus, yeah. It started out as a long bus, but they took and cut it at the, right at the seams between the, they took the whole sliding door out and shortened it to that. So it has a, a wheelbase of 47 and a half inches. So that's pretty special. There's something else special about it too, right? Absolutely, so it's also electric. An electric short bus. That's right. <laughs> I, I would say, I believe this is the world's only electric short bus. That's so cool. Can you take us around? Absolutely. So, so what I have here, I mentioned it was shortened. Yes. And you can actually, there's a car next to us you can get for reference. Okay. Of the two, these two points right here, this and this, that used to be in between those on this car. That tells you how much they took out. Wow. So they yeah. took out, that is a good four feet. They've Seriously. taken out. So you take that out <laughs> and you create a little wheelie popping monster. I mean, this thing, we, we got it on video. We were only allowed to do it one time. <laughs> so, but we did it. it. The first time I stepped on it, just picked the wheels right up the ground, flopped it down, like, okay, never do that again. Amazing. Absolutely, yeah. Client I mean, didn't like that. No, client not happy. <laughs> um, client not happy with that. Um, was really worried that that was going to be our primary use of the vehicle. We had to we had to swear on everything that is holy. That's for testing. It was, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, tell us some details about the, the build, the conversion. What did Absolutely. you guys Well, uh, we can, do? if you want to walk around back. Let's do it. This is a great color too. I love oh, the it. Blue, yeah. Actually, yeah. this is a this color is very special to the owners because it's a it's from a 1965 Ford Galaxy that her father had in this color. So when they had it painted, so this is not a factory Volkswagen color. Okay. This is a color very it has a sentimental value to the owner. Oh, I so love that. So we are doing a restoration on this. We're going to repaint it, but we are going to keep it the same color in okay. order to you know pay homage to that. Um, yeah. If you look, there is the uh, this motor is a Hyper Nine made by NetGain. It um, has 175 foot-pounds of torque, 125 horse, and it runs on a, it's a 144 volt nominal motor. So that's a, to give you reference on that, you know, a lot of Teslas and these are 400 volts. Okay. So these are a lower voltage motor than what like a Tesla would have. So it's a more, like these motors are more practical for cars where you just can't stuff a lot of batteries, okay. or you're trying to stay in with a specific budget. Got it. And so about batteries, what are you guys running for that? So this car, you won't be able to see them, but that is under this dog bed that we made. Under the so dog under bed. under the dog bed, centered in the middle of the car, okay. we have six Tesla Model S modules. Okay. So they're, yeah, the six Tesla Model S modules. I hate to make a range calculation on this car at this point, but it'll be really good, you know, for our typical, typical range in a car like this with that many batteries. It's probably 125 miles, something like this. This will probably do a little better. Okay. Because it'll never get any more top speed than, you know, it's going to Maui. You know, there's not a lot of fast roads. This thing isn't going to be hauling. It'll probably get a lot of miles out of it. Be a really fun little rare charging car. What are you looking at for top speed? Like somewhere around 70, 80? Oh, I mean, well, uh, way faster than you care to go. Okay. Um, yeah. as, as Ralph Nader kind of deemed the Corvair, this is uh, deemed the Corvair. This is unsafe <laughs> at any speed. Got it. So really, like, you won't <laughs> want to go that fast. the wheelie popping. It's a, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a wheelie popping little machine. We are doing a lot of work on the chassis okay. to try to prevent that. It's, it'd be almost impossible to prevent wheelies if you're trying to get one, but I think we'll be able to get it to where they won't happen unless you're really trying to do it. Um, they also has a tendency to, if you put a couple guys in the front, it's a real nose dragger. Okay. So we are stiffening the suspension up. This is getting full upper, lower A-arm suspension with coilovers. Amazing. And this is going to have Willwood brakes. I mean, this okay. is going to have an amazing suspension for this little short bus. What about the weight at the end of the day? Is it somewhat roughly Actually, similar? Um, I couldn't tell you the weight versus a stock bus. Okay. But we did take we did take weights before and after, and I just don't know them off the top of my head. <laughs> but not 
a completely um, oh, different it's world. Not a completely different world yeah. of weight. Um, actually, in our typical conversion of like a Volkswagen actually improves the weight distribution quite a bit. Oh, that's amazing. Because we put batteries up front and some behind the seat, and actually ends up evening it out more. A typical Beetle's like a 3070, but and we usually end up with more of a 4060. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does shift some of the weight to the front. Typical net weight gain on these cars on a Hyper 9 type of build like this, 160 pounds, somewhere around there. That's nothing. It's nothing, yeah, especially with the additional power. We're tripling the power and only adding 160 pounds. That's pretty good, pretty good trade-off. Oh, absolutely, yeah, if you, <laughs> if you like, we, on a typical little Beetle, Carmen Ghia, like small Porsche, yeah. smaller cars, it doesn't take, these motors are more than enough to make them feel very zippy, especially if you maintain the manual transmission. And that's what you did with this, right? I'm looking, I almost yes. think I see, you can see the, a gear uh, shifter. the shifter. You can, and if you look closer, um, there's a little button. See behind the steering wheel and the deal? That's actually reverse. Okay. It's got a little button that lights up, tells you it's reverse. And it also lights up if you put it in reverse manually. So you'll okay. always know what direction you're going. But you, yeah, that, you do that. So typically this car will probably never leave one gear. It'll probably stay in about third gear all of its life. Very cool. Yeah, we could have locked it in, but there's there's a novelty to having the shifter. And there's also, if you want to do something silly. Yeah. It's got the if shifter. If you want to row some gears, it. yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> if you want to have an exhibition of acceleration. Like wheelies. It will yeah. do them. It will absolutely do them. <laughs> yeah. It's got more torque than a gas motor. Oh, it does. More torque, and it's also almost no wheelbase. Yeah. It's just a... You have to have wheelies. <laughs> we, yeah, we were, like, we, we were like debating, do we put wheelie bars on this thing? Ultimately, we're going to really try to tune out the wheelie popping behavior. What about well, the brains controlling the motor and the batteries that's, um, so and the, things like that? The controller is all under this panel. These three wires are the phase wires coming from the controller. Okay. Charger, uh, DC DC converter, uh, pump. Uh, they're, they're all that panel was there was what hit the gas tank on the original bus. Okay. So every all of our components are behind there, wired up, just to give it a real clean look. And you can see where you add the electrons is over here. The, in the uh, fuel port. Oh, or the fuel, perfect. Yeah, right where you would door, look for it. <laughs> plug it in, charge it up. Yep. Amazing. I think they closed it maybe because it's going to rain. I don't know. But <laughs> you never know in Colorado. You never know. You don't know. Did so. you drive it here from the plate? No, no, no. <laughs> We'd have to drive under the ocean. Yeah, because this car, this car is from Hawaii. Came a long way to get here. Uh, actually, we're from Texas. We're from Austin, Texas. Oh. Yep. We drug it up here because I thought people would like to see a short bus. No, no, it was shipped to us. Yeah. Well, so, James, thank you so much for the quick Daniel. walk around. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Look forward to seeing what comes out next from you guys' shop. It's always exciting there. Oh, we, uh, we'll do anything. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> we, we don't have any sense to say no. <laughs> short bus, long bus, and anything in between. That's right. Awesome. Thank you.